Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hello Brain Kids. How are you? I hope you are okay. And I hope you are a very good day. In this video, I will teach you how to form and to use the present perfect sentence. We have finished uh, the vocabulary of Unit 5. So we are going to continue the grammar of Unit 5, that uh, Lesson 3. So I want all of you to open the book on page 62. Before we are um, starting our exercise, uh, let's uh, teach you how to use the present perfect simple first. So, what is the form of the present perfect tense? The form of the present perfect tense is we use I or they or we or you with the auxiliary verb have plus the verb in the past participle. For example, I have worked there. I have worked there. Or we use she or he or it with the auxiliary verb has plus the verb in the past participle tense. For example, he has cleared the table. He has cleared the table. What does it mean by the past participle tense? What does it mean by that? The past participle tense is the third form of the verb. As we know that there is the infinitive form and the past form and the past participle form. Like what? Like the verb play. The past played and the past participle played. For example, also the verb look. Looked, looked. These two verbs are regular verb, so we put ed after the verb in infinitive. And there is some irregular verb. Like what? Like go. Go, went, gone. Go in infinitive form. In the past form is going to be went. And in the past participle is gone. And eat. In the past, ate. In the past participle, eaten. Let's move to the form of the sentence. How can we make an affirmative sentence? We use have or has plus the verb in past participle. For example, he has walked to school. He have walked to school. Where is the present perfect? Have walked. Walked is irregular or regular verb? It's regular verb because Walk is the infinitive, and we add ed at the end of the verb, so it's going to be walked, so it's regular verb. In the negative sentence, we put haven't or hasn't plus the past participle. For example, they haven't marked the test yet. So where is the present perfect? Haven't marked. Haven't marked. Marked is a regular verb or regular verb? Yes, it's regular verb because we add ed after the verb mark. In the question form, we use has or have plus the verb in past participle. For example, has she talked to him yet? Has she talked to him yet? About the short answer, we said if it yes, so we are going to say yes, I have, or yes, we have, yes, you have, yes, they have. 
And if the answer is no, no, I haven't, no, we haven't, no, you haven't, no, they haven't. If we use has, so we are going to be yes, he has, yes, she has, yes, it has. And if the answer is no, no, he hasn't, no, she hasn't, no, it hasn't. Let's move to the usage of the present perfect. When we use the present perfect, we use the present perfect when we talk about something that start, started in the past and continued in the present. What does it mean by that? Let me give you an example. I have slept in this room since I was three. What does it mean by that? The tense, I started in the past, this means that I slept when I was three, and continued in the present, it means that I still sleeping in this room. So we use, I have slept in this room since I was three. The action happened in the past and continued in the present. The second usage of the present perfect is something that happened in the past, but we don't say when. We didn't mention the time. And it is not important to know when they happened or when the action happened. For example, I have taken a lot of family photos. I have taken a lot of family photos. Some of you are going to ask me, what is the difference between the past simple and the present perfect then? The present perfect, we didn't mention the time. We didn't mention the time. But the past simple, we mentioned the time. In this, exer in, in this example, I have taken a lot of family photos. If we make it in the past, so it's going to be, I took a lot of family photos last year. So here I mentioned the time, last year. Let's move to the third one. Something that happened in the recent time. Let me give you an example. The door is wet. The door is wet. I can see it. It's wet right now. It have just painted. It have just painted. What does it mean by that? It painted in the past or in the recent time or like an hour ago. And it is still wet. I can see the evidence of the painting by seeing the door is wet. So, the door is wet, it have just painted, something happened in the recent time. Some experiences, like what? We have built a garage, we have built a garage. We make the experiences that it is not the first time we Make this garage, so we have built a garage, means that I do it before. Okay? Let's move to the keyword. What is the keyword for the present perfect? Number one, already. Already. So when we see already in the sentence, we use the present perfect tense. Number two, just. Still, never, ever, yet, and yet always come with the question form and the negative form. 
for, for ages, since, a long time. I want to add something with uh, the present perfect tense, which is have been and have gone. When we say have been, what does it mean by that? For example, I have been here since 8 o'clock. What does it mean by that? This is the form of the verb to be. You know, what is the verb to be? Is or am or are, which is in the present, was or were in the past, and in the present perfect, we use been or been. So, when I said I have been here since 8 o'clock, it means that I was in this, in this area, this time. Okay, let's move to uh, another form. We use have or has been for the meaning of go and come back. For example, I have been in Paris. What does it mean by that? I went to Paris and I came back. I went to Paris and I came back. So we said, I have been in Paris. But if we said, if we're still in Paris, we use have or has gone. For example, we have gone to Paris and we will be back on Monday. What does it mean by that? It means that we still in Paris and we are going to go back. But if we go and come back, so it's going to be have been. But if we go and didn't come back yet, aren't we still there? So we are going to use have or has gone. The last thing of um, the present perfect is for and since. For and since is one of the keywords of this tense. But it has some particular usage. So. We use for when we refer to a period of time. For example, I have worn glasses for years. Where is the period of time here in this sentence? For years. I have worn glasses for years. We have to mention the period of time after the word for. Since. Since refer to the point in time point in time. For example, I have worn glasses since 1999. So we, what is the, where is the point in time? It's 1999. So we put it after the word since. Now we have done with the present perfect. Let's move to the exercise in close-up. Open page 60 to student book and let's move together with the exercise.